I went on Amazon and bought a folding piano. So here is my unboxing video. Okay. A music stand. A sustain pedal. A carrying case. Ooh. And a piano. charger because I was like wait where did the charger go and it is a C cable charger which is kind of cool because that seems to be the future of charging um that goes on like that and then I'll take this off protected on these keys. And then more plastic on this side of the keys. And then you open it up and you smush them together. fairly light. It's got pretty good action for uh, a keyboard, to be honest. There are textured. You can hear that. Um, just give me a second. I'll set it up. Okay. So, I turn on the power. I just want to see if there was a battery. Bluetooth mode. Not sure what that means, but... it doesn't even need to be off. You can play half a keyboard. <laughs> Which I thought was kind of interesting. And note to self, move your hair <laughs> when you're closing it back up. Because it will get caught and it does pull. <laughs> so you know when I turned on the piano it said Bluetooth. So I went to my other phone and I will add the Bluetooth. So it comes up as music piano and you hit connected. Connected. And then it gives you the little indicator of the battery life, which is this little headphones, which I thought was nice because I couldn't find one on the actual piano. Thing is, I don't really know what it's supposed to do. So if I just like go to a playlist. Yeah, it plays from the piano. I don't know what happens with two 
to the volume. We'll change the volume to this. And then volume on your phone. On the piano. <laughs> Which you also need to turn it down. That's pretty cool. with Canon okay. Note so, is that you can put the lessons it. on your phone so and still play with it. With these and then down to A. And then if it's the both pianos too loud, you can turn the piano the down. Part. Basically, just the outer shell of a chord. And I can add an accompaniment with and my then left hand. And then, if the piece is too loud, you can turn down the phone. And then it turns down in the piano. Now, if you don't want to do a rhythm, thing about piano is that in the songs they have play alongs which I always forget about but now I can put it through the piano and play along with it so I chose let it be it's been a minute so <laughs> we'll see how this goes features um, like a demo tone rhythm chord record and metronome and now if I push the metronome it does that you push it again it goes off there's a rhythm some sweet things. There's so many. I kind of wish they were alphabetical because then you would know where. Hey, I don't know if I'll ever find acoustic piano again. So who's with bass? I guess we're into the basses now. All right. And violin, viola, cello, contrabass. 
Yep, there's a lot of options if you needed them. Honestly, I'm more of like a regular piano person. Um, oh, it's a pan flute. <laughs> um, if you're into like making your own uh, arrangements, that'd be pretty cool. Because I think you can use this as like a MIDI keyboard as well. Or at least that's what it said on the box. Um, right. There is so many, I don't even know. It's an, an, oh, no, it's an acro. Oh, I went around, but I don't know where it went. Oh. That's a weird applause. If you want to compare this panel to something like a Yamaha P125, I do have one um, and I have brought it traveling and it's a beautiful piano and it, the, this one isn't mine. I'm, I borrowed it, but they've never asked for it back. So there's that. Um, yeah, I'll show you kind of the setup that I have for when I take it this on the road. This traveling case. Um, it's pretty long <laughs> compared to the other piano, which is this long. So there's the size comparison. Um, so this is the Yamaha P125, and it's basically the same size as my regular keyboard. So I'm basically packing around a keyboard. <laughs> Here we go. Versus the music one, which is the size of a dash. Not that much smaller, but it is that much. The thing about the Yamaha P125 is you have to plug it in. At least as far as I know, you have to plug it in. Um, it's a really nice sound. Smooth. The keys are very smooth. Um, this is as loud as it goes. These are the speakers on both sides. Um, like I said, I'm borrowing this, so I didn't actually take the time to like read a manual, but it's very like, very similar to my um, current electric piano. So yes, it's very nice. It's very nice. Let's go over here, in which case the sound is a little bit more tingly. I do find that the action of the keys are a lot springier. And this is still on battery. So if you don't need to plug it in, that's kind of why I went with it. It's not as loud as it goes. It is a little sus. So the other thing we wanted to see is if we could plug it into a speaker. And I plugged in our speaker we use for the TV to the headphone jack and and then you can actually change the volume on there. So it can connect to a speaker.
bigger, which is awesome.